Now it's time to talk about TNA Impact for January 7th, 2006. Now it's time. True. This is TNA, the new face of professional wrestling. <laughs> More boys are coming. <laughs> There's fucking aliens and satellites and AJ Styles. There's a and lot going on consoles. here. <laughs> dude, this Got intro this. is you. crazy, dude. There's so dude, much going on. This is a very uh, 2006 intro. I don't know the band that is playing this uh, recap video, uh, but it sounded very much like Three Days Grace. <laughs> we. We the show started with a music video, yeah, just a straight up music. They didn't give you any context. All they showed no, it was, was, it was just, just stuff a, happening. Music video and Christy Cage going, "There's someone here," and it just shows a big scorpion. Who could this be? <laughs> Who is this yeah. man? <laughs> they do that later too. I mean, I'll just jump ahead real quick. They show like uh the the. Um, the graphics graphics for yeah, final yeah. resolution mm. and it's it's sting and christian against jared and monty brown and everyone has a picture except sting whose picture is just a big white scorpion <laughs> that could have been anybody yeah who is this guy like, what the fuck? i guess they were trying to say like you guys don't know what sting looks like he could look like uh, shit well yeah, we I find think out later in the show well yeah, you know we do you got Jareded. That's what that's called. Get Jareded. Dude, the, the, <laughs> TNA, the TNA intro video that they play for this, I always remember Daniels turning around because I always thought it was so weird. Like, what is he? He's just like turning. Do you guys remember? The, oh, the one after. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah they, they got, uh, I, yeah, a lot going on here. I remember the thing I remember mostly from was AJ Styles doing the phenomenal forum at the screen, and then Jared hitting a jabroni with. A that's guitar. almost like that's almost like Rikishi doing a butt to this to the camera. <laughs> <It's> the <same laughs> thing. Damn, I would I would love if someone edited the Rikishi ass into that TNA intro. Did it? Did it? Did it? Rikishi's ass. Bridge up, it's just Rikishi's he ass dropping. He was in TNA for a minute. That's I mean, true. I think he, he hated do very it there, much. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. They, they threw him straight into a reverse battle royale, so yeah, he probably fucking hated it. Oh my god, that's, he was Junior Fatu. <laughs> yeah, they're like, look at this guy, we can't say his name, but you know who he is, look at his ass. Yeah, I do know this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he lost He lost in his first match to Christian uh, due to distraction by AJ Styles, and then he teamed with Samojo and LAX, uh, and then they lost. <laughs> I don't know if he ever won <laughs> on this company. <laughs> Just do the stink uh, and, face, dude. Is that he simple? was released from TNA due to he and TNA management failing to reach an agreement about a pay raise, and then Chris Harris took Fatu's spot in the fight for the right semifinal match. The pay raise? He was there for three matches. He said, all right, that's enough of that. I'm going <laughs> to bump money. that up, ooze. <laughs> I ain't going to play a fucking other down. I'll do that for another 50 grand. <laughs> he, walked, he walked into Jeff Jarrett's office raising the roof. <laughs> Raise my pay. He backed that ass up in the Jared's <laughs> office. Uh, no, he did the 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 uh, the yeah. moonwalk backwards in like uh, Scotty. Oh Kennedy. shit! He put he's the chains on arm too. Thing, or Brian yeah. Christopher. Yeah, yeah, yeah the arm thing. <laughs> the, he's got to do the arm thing. He puts the glasses on. The lights in the office go off, and he's just standing there. With the <laughs> he's doing this whole. Jeff Jarrett's drunk behind his desk. <laughs> no, Jeff Jarrett doesn't drink. Jared oh, doesn't that's drink. true. That's true. <laughs> he doesn't drink, bro. It's a real. <laughs> uh, all right so like we said we start it starts off with a music video and uh well four life crew has been going through some issues you know kip james yes. came through ruined the whole fucking dynamic this is all Fuck, screwed up sucks bullet bob armstrong which is bg james dad uh he's still around at this point and and he's like man you guys gotta get better you know your boys you guys are cool like i used to it's like <laughs> It's like when your parents are like, what happened to your parents? Like, what, what happened to that friend that used to come here? Like, we just don't hang out like that no more. It's like, oh, I really like them. I really like those guys. I like you that should kid. get back together with them. Yeah. <laughs> How about you not worry about what I'm doing? <laughs> yeah, go away. So, Bullet Bob Ramsey, I was like, you guys should get together. And he goes, I'm going to go talk to Conan. And Conan said, yo, what's up, Bullet Bob? You know, I always liked you. And he dragged him in the parking lot and beat the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> come here, old man. Let's talk for a minute. He whoops his ass. Oh, that ruled. Yeah, they dragged him into the parking lot, beat the living shit out of him. And that was the it's... beginning of the music video, and then it goes into just the actual music video. Yeah, yeah, so Bullet Bob Armstrong gets beat up, and then he goes, and Sting's coming. <laughs> <laughs> no context. Sting's are coming. <laughs> if, if we didn't already know about 4 Live Crew and, and all, you know Kip James coming through and all that, if we didn't already know the context, this music video would not have told us what this con. They didn't even say the name for Life Crew. Honestly, I know about it, and I'm still confused. Yeah, I was yeah. very confused. They didn't even say they. Yeah, they didn't even say the name or anything. It's just like, yeah, Bullet Bob. Yeah. This old guy. Get, we don't even know who Bullet Bob. If you don't know who Bullet Bob Armstrong is, <laughs> that's even worse. Like, why, it's just why some why old was guy. Bob I don't trying to help them out, and then why did he get his ass whooped? And why did they care? <laughs> so, anyways, play the fucking rock music. Here we go, baby. Stay's coming. <laughs> 
<laughs> so yeah, Christian Cage announces that someone is a part of the TNA roster. He doesn't say their name, and it's a Scorpion. So you assume it's Sting. Could have been anybody though. No, nah, it's The it Rock as a Scorpion King. He's coming. Oh, wow, that would have been crazy. They should have put a crown on the Scorpion. That would have been great. Scorpion King. <laughs> it should have been a Brahma bull with a scorpion on the back. <laughs> should have just said Dwayne the Rock Johnson is coming. <laughs> No, bro, they couldn't even give Rikishi a raise. They're not bringing in The Rock. <laughs> they didn't give Rikishi a raise because they're trying to bring in The Rock and Chris Jericho. They can't give Rikishi. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> was... This is TNA. <laughs> he ain't dead. He ain't The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to hear your thing not talking about me. I ain't going to give you a fucking pay raise, Rikishi. <laughs> <laughs> That's how all the TNA contract that was negotiations a weird song. I can't believe that song is there. You're not the rock, so you're not gonna pay raise. I can't believe. What I can't believe we had to change that song, like that lyric, because <laughs> they didn't get the rock. Yeah they, yeah, they really changed it. He ain't dead. He ain't. Ah! <laughs> it says he ain't dead. He ain't Jarrett. Doesn't make any sense. No, he ain't what dead. Do you mean he's he not Jarrett. Oh, he's <laughs> yes, you are Jarrett. You drug fuck. He ain't dead. He ain't. Huh? <laughs> Dude, I'm fucking. I can't get over that. You were getting you walks to the office. <laughs> you ain't the rock. <laughs> you, you ain't getting this fat check, boy, in my world. <laughs> you ain't dead. You ain't the rock. You ain't getting paid shit, Rikishi. That's Jared's negotiating and then he does style. The strut. Are he you does dead? The Jared strut. Or are you the rock? <laughs> If answer either of these is no, get the oh fuck out of here, Slapma. It's like one of those flowchart things where you go down the line. Are you dead? Yes. Okay, over here. Get a pay raise. Are you the rock? Yes, get a pay raise. Are you not? Damn. Sorry, Ooze. <laughs> yeah, I imagine Jared ending it with sorry, Ooze. Oh my Hits god. Hits him with a guitar. He does the strut. Let's go. Broke a million guitars, never give Rikishi a dime. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Graham's in the back. Oh hell no! <laughs> so, so Rikishi's not on this show. <laughs> Rikishi, this show has even... nothing to do with Rikishi at all. <laughs> he wasn't around at TNA. So Rikishi's not here. <laughs> Rikishi doesn't have come around to 2007. <laughs> <laughs> it's a year after this. <laughs> I don't even know if Jarrett was there when Rikishi was there. <laughs> oh, <my God>. oh, <laughs> fuck. This show has nothing to do with Rikishi at all. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy shit, I'm sweating, man. Oh, what the fuck? My stomach oh. hurts already. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. All right. All right. Let me try to <laughs> figure right. out here. All right. So he ain't dead. He ain't the right. <laughs> you ain't getting a fucking pay raise. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my office. <laughs> Free woo. <laughs> Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. But yes, oh. there was a there was a video package to start the show. <laughs> yeah, so what yeah. was the band? Four Who was the band? Crew. Do you know? Three days. Four life crew did the song. <laughs> yeah. Four days grace. It was yeah. Four, four days, days grace. <laughs> And they didn't get a pay raise. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're not dead, again. and they're not The Rock. Do you think TNA? You think TNA paid for the rights to use any of the music they ever used on the show? Do you think they Hell just yeah, like bro, slid Dale by? Oliver was on the payroll. Uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. He was in that. Band I don't think Dale Oliver did this song though. No, absolutely not. This is not a Dale Oliver classic. No. We got to hear one later on, Christian Cage though. That song goes heavy. Hell yeah. So this show starts off. We talked about it, the TNA Impact intro. AJ Styles jumping at the screen. Uh, this is the one that I kind of remember the most, I think. Yeah, I think um, so too. Yeah, I mean, I obviously remember the Impact Wrestling Blue Flames. The rain one? You gotta remember the rain one. Yeah, you know I mean? But that was more like the cold open, you know? Sure, okay. Um, this is more like, because uh, it goes it goes from this, AJ Styles jumping at the screen, and then the pyro goes off, and it's fucking nuts in the Impact Zone. The look at this point is beautiful. This This set is incredible. I this is it, yeah. what I when I think of TNA, I think of this. Mm. They could have kept this going. I feel like if they did this right fucking now, if you know someone used sound. This is just 21, what AEW looks like. <laughs> pretty much. You're, this yeah, is you're AW. pretty much right. Um they got I mean like the sets backstage look great. Yeah, everything looks yeah. just fantastic. Um so we start off with Team 3D versus Buck, Quartermain, and Lex Love It. 
Yeah, I uh, mm-hmm. I I didn't know their names until you just said it. Yeah, I wrote down. I said we're halfway through the match. I don't know who the fuck these guys are. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I think Don West said, and Quartermain's down. I said, Quartermain, who the fuck is this? <laughs> who is this The guy? only one I, I... See, I didn't even hear that. I heard Lex Lovett, and that's the only one I remember hearing. Yeah, so Buck, Quartermain, and Lex Lovett. As you cool. can see, Team 3D beats the shit out of these dudes. They've just um, yeah. easily beat them and hit the 3D, and it's over. Yes, yeah, one of those one-hour impacts, so this is before they got on Spike in the two-hour joints, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um. So they obviously just had a lot of jobber stuff, and honestly, it made for a super like quick and easy to kind of watch show yeah it was um, very easy to consume the show there was not like a bunch of bullshit nothing felt like it dragged it's cool yeah team 3d people wanted to see team 3d hit 3d and they did and then yeah they then they said all right well you can you know get ready for the pay-per-view we're going to be on where you can buy it and then watch us also try to hit 3d again and like that yeah. worked for them <laughs> <laughs> it was great television yeah it just made yeah. for like getting them like just the greatest hits and move on that's pretty much all we yeah, wanted yeah yeah I mean, that's, I think that's, that's when wrestling's at its best is quick consumption. Um, you don't have enough time to hate it and it's enough to, you know, want you wanting more. And I think that's where wrestling shines the most. It really really doesn't expose anybody in this context either. Cause it's just like, all right, 3d doing what 3d does and then moving Mm -hmm. on and makes them look good. Oh, I agree. Um, Uh, this is Cody. This is not an excuse for the short (laughs) women's matches on AEW. He said, well, good. God damn, we've been doing that the whole time. He said, oh, you love short matches, huh? I'm going to make them even short. <laughs> oh, mine aren't. Mine, mine aren't. So, <laughs> Bully Ray comes down. He says, come on, 2006. And I said, holy yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, this that, is uh, that, their first show of the new year, I guess. Right? years ago, dude. How is that yeah. even? Wow. Yeah, that, that's pretty funny. I don't know. Fun. Maybe I'm just getting older, but 2006 still seems like five years ago for me. And it's you, not. I mean, yeah, it does. We've been getting older since we were born, technically. That's fucked up, bro. Who did this? <laughs> so Team 3D is facing AMW at the next pay-per-view. So they did like a scuff death sentence at the beginning of this match. <laughs> they didn't is come off the top or anything. Is that what they were anything. doing? Yeah, that, that was what it was. He didn't go off the top, though. He just jumped Oh, on. I was... Okay, that makes a lot more sense, though. And they didn't say this, and they didn't even say it was the death sentence, but it was the death sentence. I don't and think I just... they do, and I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you set him up, you know, you set him up, and did the leg drop. So I was like, oh, yeah, that's okay, that makes sense. So, sure, sure, sure. Um, so I assume they're kind of po- pointing at AMW here. Um, like I said, halfway through this match, don't know who the fuck these guys are. All I know is that Sting's coming, Sting's coming, Sting. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's gonna give Sting a tribute. That's kind of gross. Uh, Team 3D wins with a 3D. Uh, Devon's titties were out for this entire. Whew fucking segment dude was just a menace at this point just he was he in the best shape of his life right here he was he was, yeah, he was jack dude oh, yeah. he looked real Big good boy. he looked real good uh they also <laughs> fuck <laughs> so they played the morpho flex fat burner move of the night oh it's no <laughs> team 3d with the 3d <laughs> not morpho flex i the just got f- i just kicked my stacker two habit <laughs> <sighs> so we have to have a fat burner just any fat burner to sponsor our show, right? Why don't yeah. we buy into a, a fat burner and just brand it Deadlock? The Deadlock fat burner, and we'll yeah. do the move of the week too. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's yeah, whatever I the like first it. finish of the night is. It really doesn't matter. We're just gonna just go well, that's into WSX it. style. Yeah, yeah, they did yeah. that here. They're like three D. That's it. That's the, that's the move of the night right there. Go ahead and get this over. <laughs> it doesn't get better than three D. To be fair, we looked it up, Tony. I, Tony, you looked it up a little bit, didn't you? Yeah, Morphoplex, I think is how you pronounce it, Morphoplex? I don't I, yeah, know. Yeah, Morphoplex, but... something like that. That's my finisher like in that. DPW, the Morphoplex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was looking at it. I was trying to figure out exactly what it was, and all I saw were like pictures of Larry Zabisco on the beach, and he was trying to shill this thing, and he said, I don't is know why real? all these wrestlers... Yeah, he, he, he went on Twitter, and he's like, I don't know why all these wrestlers are getting popped with steroids. They should just get to Morphoplex. And I'm like, what the <laughs> hell is going on here? He had one person what? like the tweet. I don't know what this is. I think it was Larry Zabisco's... <laughs> Like steroids, and then he tried to sell it to people. But if you go to morphoplex.com right now, you could buy the domain. So we should, we oh, should it's, fund that. Oh, you can buy the domain. So it doesn't exist yeah. anymore. Well, it does on like third party websites and stuff. So you can still get it. But wow, that sounds sketchy as hell. Exactly what TNA would be buying into in 2008. You yes. can buy the domain for $5,298. Holy fuck. That's a bargain. Wow, what a steal. Or, we can move or the night. 24 payments, or 24 payments of 221 if you want. Oh, there we go. I love me I a payment I better go straight plan. to Larry Zabisco, too. <laughs> Larry <laughs> yeah. Zabisco said, "Why are you doing steroids when you can do this fucking sketchy ass fat burner and probably just die?" <laughs> I, I don't know, man. You're right. I just good my point. Larry Zabisco Larry. with wrestling guys... companies. What is with wrestling companies peddling fat burners to the fans? Because well, all their fans are fat. And... <laughs> what? Larry Zabisco, I have no idea what Marvel doing steroids was, though. Yeah. 
Stop doing steroids. It's a fat burner. What the fuck do you think steroids do, Larry Zabisco? <laughs> Come take this know, fat burner instead. Larry Zabisco, hey, stop taking steroids. Start taking Morphoflex. One like on the tweet. Oh, it's from Larry Zabisco. <laughs> you ever <laughs> seen Larry Zabisco? He doesn't look like he does steroids. He's just the plug, bro. He just supplies them. Larry Zabisco is a fucking maniac. I fuck with Larry Zabisco. He's crazy. Yeah, he's cool. Uh, so Team 3D hits the Morphoflex fat burner move of the night. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we call the 3D from now on is the Morphoflex fat burner move of the night. <laughs> Um, they cut a promo afterwards. Bubba says, uh, we've been the ECW tag champs. Pretty good pop. WCW tag champs. Pretty good pop. And he smirks and says, WWE tag champs. Boo. Boo. You fucking bitch. You fucking bitch. We hate that dead Fuck shit. You. Fuck you, Vince. Die, Vince. Uh, and he says, I've been tag champs 18 times all together. And Bubba says, I would give them all up. All 18 runs just to hold them NWA tag team title just one time. It means so I thought much. That, honestly, I thought that was a pretty cool line. Dude, this promo was good. Bubba, yeah, yeah, Bubba was really sincere. He said, also, fuck the Road Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah. Yeah, he said, the said, NWA oh, tag titles baby. are the most prestigious tag titles in all of wrestling, and he'd give up all 18 runs just for one NWA tag title run. That was fucking cool. It was cool. Yeah, I mean, he had good conviction here, and I, and I really believe he believed that. Uh, and yeah. I think that a lot of guys at this point did. That was one of Christian Cage's biggest things at the time was, Being I want to be the champion. NWA yeah. World's champion. Uh, sure. And then they switched over to the TNA, and I was like, "What the fuck are we? What is this?" I'm leaving. I I was, yeah, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> and Kurt Angle said, "This is great. I'm just gonna hold all the titles and fuck it. <laughs> Everybody leaves." Just <laughs> yeah, take no one wants these titles. I'll just take them all. Uh, so Team 3D is facing AMW at the next pay per view, which I forget. Is it Final Resolution? Is the next one? Yeah, yes. Final Resolution. It is. <laughs> it shows a Final Resolution screenshot of uh, this. Is, <laughs> this is where they showed the Jarrett. Uh, Monty, Christian Scorpion. Cage, and Scorpion <laughs> screenshot. <laughs> I was hoping the screen. I was hoping the Scorpion screenshot would be uh, just as moving as the rest of it, but it sadly wasn't. No, it was, it was just, just still, still. Yeah, I guess they couldn't get a real score. They should have got a real Scorpion to come in there and just. Ooh, they should have had Christian around. holding a Scorpion. Oh, I think Christian would have cool. done that in a little cage. Christian's yeah, cage has a little Scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's Victoria's gimmick. Hold on now. Oh, uh, you're right. My bad. Sorry. That was a spider. Um, right? Sanjay Dutt puts over Sting in a video package. They do this through the rest of the night. They make sure all the X Division guys look like a bunch of jabronis. And uh, <laughs> it's God, only they all X Division like guys. Nerds. God damn. I hated this. This is my least favorite part of the show. Everyone being interviewed about Sting. Fucking Schwag D had to talk Schwag about Sting. He, didn't give a D with the deadlock. he had the deadlock hat on. <laughs> Schwag D with yeah, the deadlock. He did D have the deadlock hat on. That was <laughs> tilted to the side, too. He's all yeah, Schwag D. In 2006, yeah. man, he was, he was a big deadlock guy back then. Yeah. He's always been ahead of the curve. Sanjay Dutt puts him over. We get it a couple more times. They do this a lot. They did it a lot with the X Division period. Anytime someone big came in, they get the X Division and they get him on the screen and they'd be like, oh my God, I love these guys so much, man. I hope I get to wrestle them one day because I love them so much. I grew up watching them, yeah. <laughs> it like instantly makes them look like just big jabronis. They do it yeah, on the these DVDs these X Division guys look like Bunch big marks. ass marks. Yeah, yeah, this is what I thought. I'm like, oh, you're a big ass mark. I'm marking out for Sting. He's awesome. I love him. He's great. I, love <laughs> they, I mean, they, they, uh, I mean, 2006 was a good year for them still. You know, 2005 was probably their penultimate year sure. when it comes to mm -hmm. booking and everybody being yeah. over. 2006 was still a good year for them, but after 2005, the X Division started getting to the point where we kind of knew the X. Well, I'll talk about it a little bit later when we get to the actual yeah. X Division match, but yeah, it started going downhill kind of quick. Not like the guys in the ring. Their M ring was incredible, but oh, everything just, they else didn't know how to. It. I mean, uh, once Joe and Styles, and I guess Daniels to an extent, got. Uh, you know, as over to be like in the world title picture, they forgot how to book the X division. Yeah, they just never could find that next AJ or Joe or Daniels or no. anything. Mm -hmm. They tried uh, like a little, sure. I guess. Uh, so, anyways, to go backstage is Jeff Jarrett and Team Canada. So this is <laughs> this is a hell of a promo Jarrett, right baby. Here. Jarrett's backstage with him. He goes, "What is TNA management doing? Rolling out the red carpet for Sting? Are you kidding me?" Says Jeff Jarrett. Head of TNA management. <laughs> <laughs> Not giving Rikishi a raise, Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> free woo, free woo. What is the fucking TNA management doing over here? It's not The Rock and it's not the dead <laughs> it's man. It's like Cody. He's not dead. He's talking not the about rock. AEW management. <laughs> They're holding me back, man. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we see AMW backstage. With, they're with uh, Gail Kim. This is probably their number one. This is what I remember AMW for. With yeah, Gail with Gail Kim, Kim sure. the Gail Kim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Jackie run was good, but it was... It no, was Gail, Gail Kim, Kim ruled in that, that spot, that, yeah. Planet Jarrett AMW was cool. Um, Scott Demore comes backstage and he says, uh, 
Jarrett, that trollop Jackie. This is talking about Jackie Gata, by the way, not Jacqueline. Yes. Not Jezebel um, Jackie. Yeah. <laughs> that, what, is, what does that mean, that trollop? It must be a British word. You're Canadian. What's going on here? That trollop <laughs> <laughs> Jackie sent in a letter, and he goes, huh, what are you talking about here? I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. It couldn't have been anything too crazy. He's like, well, I opened it. Well, that's illegal. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, he's Canadian, so it, laws don't matter. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah, there's a lot of... So I just American looked up Trollop. Matter. I looked up Trollop, and it's a woman who engages in sexual intercourse for money. Cool. Oh, okay. That's right. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Scott Damore. So Scott looks at Jerry, goes... Yeah, you have maybe he has some Coors Light toss back. You got maybe some loose lips. You say some stuff you shouldn't have said. And he goes, "What are you talking about, Scott? I don't even drink." And the boys <laughs> pop huge. Everyone for that. starts laughing. <laughs> that yeah. was the best. That was it, fucking great. Jarrett looks around Flash the room. forward to Mexico yeah. and throwing tacos. Him throwing tacos and <laughs> fighting with Vampiro. He didn't even drink once at that point. <laughs> oh shit! Sure. Not even. That's once. even worse then. He said, That's you... not, his excuse should be he's drunk all the time. He said, "What are you talking about, Scott? I don't even drink." And then uh, Gail Kim gets pissed off because, uh, you know, Jarrett was talking to Jackie Gato when he probably shouldn't have been. And mm. because, for whatever reason, in this point in wrestling, the only trade a woman could have in wrestling is she's a pissed off woman and she's looking to raise some hell. Yeah, <laughs> that she's was a pretty bitch. Much, yeah, stop being such a bitch and start getting, coming out <laughs> of the matches with me. All right, so we move into the next matchup here. Uh, Conan and Apollo versus The Naturals, which is Andy Douglas and Homicide Chase Homicide and Apollo. Oh, oh, you're right. There, the dude. match Conan yeah, was Conan, with them though. Conan was Conan in the ring is, just as much as yes. as much as they were. That's I mean the match. <laughs> Conan goes didn't on. even leave the true, fucking you're ring. Right. That's he true. Yeah. It's uh it's Homicide and Apollo with Conan. Uh and Conan introduces them as the Latin American Exchange. What happened here? Yeah, this was the first time they ever introduced LAX. This was the first rendition of it. I how long did this version of LAX exist? Because I really like I remember Apollo. I don't remember Apollo being an LAX guy. I don't either. Yeah, I assume not too long. I mean, because yeah. I mean, this they didn't create really any moments here. I mean, this is just fresh off of you know Conan wanted to make a new group and that's what they yeah. did. So and um, uh, the Naturals also in this matchup. I uh, I don't really understand why the Naturals didn't do more in TNA. I feel like they were good. I don't know if maybe they were just too much they were like champs. AMW. Yeah, but like no one like in terms of like. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like they could have been a bigger deal. I feel like they're not around for too long, right? Okay, okay, I figured this out. I'm okay. So Apollo no showed final resolution and he was removed from TNA television. Oh, maybe he asked for a raise. Jared <laughs> said, said, Well, you ain't dead. <laughs> he said, I got rock. two questions. Are you dead? <laughs> Are you the rock? <laughs> Get the fuck out of my office. So he yeah. no showed final resolution and wow. that was the LA. Oh, okay. For- and then Hernandez got a job. That's cool. Well, that's, yeah, it worked out, I guess. Damn, it could have always it could have stayed a homicide in Apollo forever. That's weird. Yeah, that is weird to think about. I can't uh, believe we weird. randomly watched the episode where LAX formed. Yeah, what the fuck? I I was so confused. I was watching it with Deb. I was like, oh, uh, this must be before LAX. And then Conan says, this is LAX. I was like, oh, I'm an <laughs> asshole. This is LAX. <laughs> is it just me or does Apollo look like Batista here, or is he trying to look like Batista or something? Because I just saw B- Batista here the entire time. It's. it's he, I think it's. A coincidence, because I think he just happens to look like Batista in general. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, so I think even before, like even before he was like LAX, dude, I remember Apollo, like, early TNA had, like, the red trunks and all, he kind of jacked. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Was a, he was a lot more jacked a few years ago. He was, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the fairground shows, I remember him looking like a monster. Yeah. He was kind of like he was like here. world. He was in, like, the world title contention, too. Yeah, they were pushing the hell out of him. Jarrett wanted yeah. to program with him every fucking week. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so Conan comes into the ring. They don't even really wrestle. I don't even think. I don't think no. Andy or Chase even took off their fucking jackets. He's got. <laughs> they just kind of took Probably some bumps for no. in the jackets, and Conan gets in the ring and whacks the referee in the face, and then brings out the <laughs> the slapjack, the blackjack, the mad the ball, the mad ball. <laughs> yeah, Tanae was calling it the blackjack. I thought it was the slapjack, and then Tony, I know, has said bad ball before. So what the fuck is this thing called? You know, I think it changes. Whatever Conan says it is, I'm just going to believe Conan. You know, uh, uh, he's a big WCW guy, so he was thinking Slapjack from WCW. They used to have a Slapjack in WCW. Remember that? Back in but the he day? didn't want to call it that, so he called oh, it Blackjack. Oh, I do remember. I Did thought he they call called it, it Slapjack? Just... No, he called uh, it Blackjack. I thought it was Snack Pack. <laughs> <laughs> no, snack no pack. that's not right. <laughs> it was the Mad Ball, though. It's the Mad Ball. That's what Okay, I well, yeah, he, he hits the ref with the, the crack with the, he pack. Just punches, he just punches <laughs> the, the ref with pack. that. 
Oh no! Right, yeah. He punches the ref, and then he he snack packs uh, the <laughs> black the jack the snack pack. Yeah, he got right back. He right back. The whack pack. The whack pack. <laughs> the whack pack juice. from Howard Stern. Juice here. <laughs> Why do you call you high pitch Jack? Why do you call you the dwarf? Why, why are they? Why are they call you the dwarf? Why are you the drunken, drunken dwarf? angry dwarf? It's because I'm drunk. He's a dwarf standing there with a beard in his hand, and he's a dwarf. <laughs> why are you drunk and a dwarf? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It could be either. Uh, BG James comes out for the save and gets beat up, and then Kip James comes out uh, with a tied up shirt and a chair and makes a save. Uh, and there you go. And I don't know if you noticed, but I'm pretty sure this first LAX theme is just a ripoff of the Filthy Animals theme from WCW. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, oh, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. I mean, LAX got DQ'd. I mean, they didn't even, like I said, didn't even take the jackets off. It was pretty no. much over with. BG James tried to make it. <laughs> I love that BG James tried to make a save got his ass kicked too. So, oh, shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Such is life. You had to have six foot five. I mean, Kip James was in. I mean, he kind of looks the same right now, to be honest. He looks with like, you. dude, TNA, Kip James, and current day Billy Gunn, exactly the same person. Yeah. He should wear the Nine yeah. Inch Nails tank top all scrunched I out agree. on TV right now. It'd make him and Austin Gunn a lot more cool. Uh, imagine Nine Inch Nails tank top and a quick draw all in one segment. Yeah, Ooh. Billy Gunn should uh, uh, put the shirt on, and uh, that's the <laughs> end of the sentence. Oh, okay. All right. No, no Austin Gunn. Thank you. So, Chris Sabin says. I, I love Starcade. I love Starcade where <laughs> oh, Hulk, Hogan, oh, no. I love Hulk Hogan and Sting, they had a match and Bret Hart was there and oh my god. Yeah. Man, Chris said, I would love to have a 30 second squash on the show <laughs> with Sting. <laughs> I wish oh, he would man. squash me. I love when the Hogan blew that fucking angle for everybody and lost a bunch of money for everybody. Oh man, oh, man. <laughs> good stuff right there. Yeah, fucking me too, dude. Chris. Fuck. It's crazy how, qu- how quickly Chris Sabin like he was the X Division guy, and then he wasn't all of a sudden. I don't know what happened. He there. legit just exists here, which is yeah. He was Mister yeah. Ultimate X forever. <laughs> yeah, like a fucking Asylum. Hail Saban, Chris Saban was the guy. Yeah, and then yeah. they had him on TV just kind of pushing Sting. Stinger's coming. Cool. <laughs> all right, dude. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> uh, speaking of dudes just being dudes, we get to Larry Zabisco backstage. Jackie Gata comes out with her honkers and is just real fucking angry. <laughs> True, <laughs> she's all fired up with her Hong Kongs. Yeah, and Larry Zbysko's like, look, man, you get your honkers out of here, all right? I got a little shit to worry about. Get out of here, Trollope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of Trollope, Generation Next comes up. Shelly, Aries, and Strong. Hey, they're not called Generation that. You can't call Next. them that. That's not their name. <laughs> oh, my, what are they here? Are they not they're, Generation? Uh, they're just three guys that they didn't want to put the names up on one nameplate. <laughs> disgruntled employees is they what they were They were definitely are. Generation Next and ROH at this point, though, right? Uh, They may have. Why the fuck did I they put them together if not? I can't I imagine. I think Aries, Aries and Roderick were still Generation X and ROH. Alex Shelley was, had turned on them a long time before this, but TNA, at this point, when they were trying to find new people for the X Division, just said, all right, ROH, who do you got, and we're going to take everything you're doing. <laughs> well, it worked out for them. They got a lot of guys, so. Sure. Um, so they confront Larry Zabisco. They say, what's the deal, man? Like, this X Division shit's kind of whack, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand why like no one's getting any push. It's just Daniels and AJ and Daniels and AJ. Yeah. And uh wow, it made me remember like immediately how many fucking times do they run this angle after after like this point right here? That was the this, only thing they yeah. had. This was the only angle they ever had was why is the exhibition yeah. not getting pushed? It was Why does this division all- suck? Yeah, every year <laughs> after a, this. And then Zabisco says, Why are you not buying Morphoplex? Maybe you'd get a push if you bought my fat burners, you stupid sons That's of bitches. That's true. Just go on the make it this kid. business, yeah? Well, here's a Morphoplex. <laughs> and then he pulls out this thing and he says, You got two questions here. Are you dead? Or are you going <laughs> to push, push you push accordingly? Kid. Can't give you a push, kid. Sorry. Yeah, Larry just kind of buries him. He goes, yeah, well, you guys are kind of like fucking Marks. Honestly, you kind of sound like my wife, and she's a fucking Mark, too. That's all I was going to be honest with you. <laughs> she's, uh, hey, you know, like, well, I see a bunch of crybabies. Yeah. yeah, this is fucked up. Yeah. I said, damn, Larry, you had to say that to him. I mean, they're, they're, pretty, they're pretty good performers. I mean, they were the best on the show at this point. Hell so, yeah, like, the, the, their match rules later on in the show. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they well, could push Larry, them. Larry cuts one of those uh, one of those back in my day promos. That was pretty yeah, good. I like that. Those are my favorite day, kind of promos. You could, James, you could probably do it better than back in yeah, my back day. Back in my day and day, where Black Jam Mulligan used to take me out back. I beat that shit out of me. You know what I told him? I said, thank you, sir. And I went back inside. <laughs> I did you know, my I job. I really miss when them fucking marks were behind the guard around. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the biggest marks in the business right now are the damn workers. The workers are the marks, and that's you. Dude, <laughs> and my my Jim, wife's a mark, too. Jim Ross, why are you here? 
Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get a pay- I'm trying to get a raise. <laughs> He's a WWF. So <laughs> Jerry Lynn comes up and he goes, <laughs> <laughs> then walks out. Hey guys, no. you got a match. <laughs> Ooh. You don't sound like a big fucking nerd. <laughs> I talked to Tony a little bit before we did this. What happened within three years where Jerry Lynn went from ripped killer to and guys got a match coming up? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, how what quickly did he age? For? I just want to let you know you got a match against AJ Styles, Chris Sabin, and Christopher Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> he said maybe he said maybe you'd be on that pay per view you weren't such marks. Jerry Jerry Lynn man it's crazy because like I said he fucking aged a hundred years in like three years why is he not wrestling (laughs) yeah he aged a hundred years in three years took some time off and he came back to wrestle again and oh my god he (laughs) de-aged what happened here (laughs) dude the tights it must be something in the tights yeah I I it was crazy seeing him here because at first I didn't even know it was Jerry Lynn. I'm like, holy shit, wait a minute, that's Jerry Lynn. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Maybe as a body double, like Randy the Ram in the wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> Any backstage there's, is not actually there's him. There's work Jerry Lynn and then shoot Jerry Lynn. <laughs> God damn, the workers are all Mark's brother. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Take a bump. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. 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 <laughs> <laughs> <Trollop>. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> yeah, we have for, we have Roberto Rude and he faces off against Ron the Truth Killings up next. Truth um, is his name. Yeah, yeah, just truth. They call him Ron the Truth Killings, but yeah, his name tag just says truth. Weird. Um he comes out dancing and cool. hits a bridge jackknife pin and beats him in like three <laughs> seconds. He wins in five seconds. This I was like, so wow. Good. I got a rules. <laughs> yeah, he danced to the ring, beat him, and then danced out of the ring. And Robert Reed said, <laughs> wait one damn awesome, minute. Actually. I was like, look this guy the belt. He says, hey, truth, there ain't no damn four live crew no more. He said, hey, you're a thug. Hey, thug, you thug. What are you trying to say? Low life, thug. <laughs> yeah, what are you trying to say, you're rude? Um, you got to say so, it is what he was going to do. <laughs> yeah, he had to go, whoa, 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 whoa. So he comes to the match. Uh, truth goes back in the match. He goes, don't you fucking do it. And he goes, all right, we're restarting the match. So, uh, Rude gets some heat. During during that whole promo, by the way, Truth is still dancing. (laughs) He never stops. He dances the whole time. (laughs) He never stops. It's the whole fucking time. I loved it. So, they restart the match. Rude gets some heat. And then Archer throws him up again. (laughs) (laughs) Rude got the hockey stick, got rolled up, pinned again. Truth just dances right in the ring this time. (laughs) Still dancing. Just hanging out. Scott Demore, he walks. He dances out of the ring, starts walking up the ramp again, still dancing. Scott Demore goes, that was the cheapest cheese I've ever seen in my fucking life. <laughs> he said, why don't you, why don't you come down here and try it again? He goes, <laughs> I bet you right. can do it again. He dances his way back to the ring, and then they have another match. The third yep. match in a row. Um, they, they had a, a little bit of a match here. Yeah, Rude gets a little heat on him, and then Drew starts coming back a little bit. Then uh, Scott Demore gets involved, and that gives Rude enough to hit the Northern Lariat. I thought truth. that was kind of cool. I, I obviously it didn't stick because the eventually the Larry to the back. Yeah, like the back of the head. I thought it was cool. I kind of I feel like there's not enough moves that are to the back of the head because I feel like the back of the head. I mean, maybe that's why because it's a fucking dangerous spot to hit somebody yeah, or fake hit probably. somebody. But I feel like back of the head moves are pretty underrated. I feel like like even like a big boot to the back of the head or anything like that. Cool. Yeah, I mean, Truce, uh, Truce incredible at this point. I mean, he still like yeah. we talked about before. He still hits the same shit now that he was doing yeah. here. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I mean, getting hit in the, there's no like, you have to like yell at him. I'm coming. <laughs> like, right, there's yeah, no, you, like, cause if you no brace, it hurts, it fucks you up more, right? Yeah. I mean like you, you don't give yourself that bump, you know? We, yeah. Right. So it's just like taking a face first in the ground. It kind of sucks. Yeah. So I understand. It makes sense. Um, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, Bobby Roode wins, uh, motherfucker. Bobby Roode's the best. He swung at Truth with the hockey stick. Truth ducked it. Got hit with the lariat. Bobby Roode wins, and that one counts. <laughs> That's the one that counted. Team Canada wins, baby. Once again, Team Canada for the win. <laughs> uh, then we have AJ Styles. He goes, uh, yeah, I guess the most memorable Sting moment for me was, I don't know, fucking working with him. You know, I worked in WCW. I was there with him. So, <laughs> I was there yeah, with Harry Paris. <laughs> yeah, yeah also, I was there. AJ Styles also had herpes here. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I fucked Sting, and uh, that's probably the I just, you know, I just got done kissing the Stinger, actually. I was kissing him. It's Sting all, told all me it was a cold sort. It's fun. Yeah. It's all good. 
The stinker's here, baby. <laughs> Somehow AJ is the least dork out of all of these that say things. Actually, probably Christian Cage is probably the least dork. AJ is next yeah. underneath Christian Cage. Because Christian Cage just no-sold it. But uh, AJ Styles almost no-sold it, but he kind of like gave in a little bit to it. He's like, yeah. Yeah, I guess the most memorable moment or whatever is like Sting wrestling or something. And like, I like Sting. When he went from old Sting to Crow Sting, I like that. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. I mean, I'll take that. Thank That's you. A, Thank you, Alan. Uh, so we get a Samoa Joe promo backstage. He's the X Division champion right now. I fucking love this X title. It is my favorite X title and always it, will yeah, be. It's, so it's good. fucking great. I also love this era of Samoa Joe with peanut butter on his era is also a good one. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to look good, man. He was young, trying to, you know. He looked I mean? great. I love yeah. it. Not, not the, memeing. <laughs> the puka shell necklace. He's looking crazy. Oh, the oh puka shit, the puka oh, shell. Those go hard, puka man. Shell. I'm going to buy those online. Black Friday. Cyber Monday. <laughs> Black Friday puka shell it's necklace. Sunday, Tony. <laughs> Cyber Sunday. Damn, you tell me I missed out on the Black Friday. <laughs> Sorry, deal. Tony. The my bad, shells? bro. Yeah. I'll get you it for Christmas. Yeah, nice. puka shells, baby. Those used to be like actually in too, huh? Hell yeah. Puka shells. And the it anal bead necklace that AJ Styles wore. Yeah. Oh, puka yeah. shells and anal beads. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. My favorite highlights. Combo. Um, so Samoa Joe has a promo with Shane Douglas. Um, Shane Douglas <laughs> is not up for Joe's shit today. Uh, <laughs> Douglas asks him a question, and then Joe doesn't answer, and Shane just walks away and goes, you think I need this shit in a new year? You think I have to deal with this, this shit? This may, I don't know. It, it made it seem like this was Joe's like first promo in the company, because he I know he didn't talk for a while. He just killed yeah. people. So yeah. it could have been his first promo. Yeah, Joe said, Daniels, I'm going to fuck your wife. Long yeah. dick style. <laughs> you know what? That's fucking true. That's yeah. all I think about whenever I see a Joe promo is that. That for whatever reason, it just, his the long dick style thing? Every, every Joe promo is, I'm going to fuck My your wife. My name is Joe. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to fuck your wife. It's every Joe promo. Tell me it's not. It's just fucking is. I mean, I guess I can see that. It's Joe the cadence says, uh, of it. There's a thin line between brave and stupid, and that line is crossed when you step in the ring with me. That's a bad ass fucking line <laughs> that rules because you, you got kids you got kids you got a wife <laughs> oh shit where is this going <laughs> every thankfully, time thankfully Joe did not fall for the sting bullshit cause Shane Douglas said oh well I got you here what do you think about sting and Joe just gave him the shittiest look ever and walked away <laughs> That's yeah, awesome. I don't even fucking like wrestling. I'm just here to beat people up. I don't know what to tell yeah, you. Get out of here. I'll kill Sting. That's exactly how you should. I'll fuck his wife. Long dick style. <laughs> you damn right. <laughs> Samoa Joe versus Sting for his wife. <laughs> My name is Samoa Joe. <laughs> I will fuck your wife. Oh, right, here we go, baby. <laughs> That's all I need to hear in wrestling. I'm ready. I'm fucking fired up. I'm ready to go. <laughs> <clears throat> so we have Generation. I wrote that down. They're no, not generation. Austin Aries, Roderick Strong, and Alex Shelley, <laughs> and they couldn't fit their names onto the nameplate, so they had to keep switching the names. <laughs> so this trio of guys that weren't together somewhere else uh, <laughs> yes. face off against Christopher Daniels, Chris Sabin, and AJ Styles, which is this match is like an all star group of guys here. It honestly. is. And not only that, they casually mentioned during AJ's entrance that at the pay per view, AJ Styles is going to go against Hiroshi Tanahashi. Yes, they, they yeah, did. Yeah, final resolution. I was yeah. like, oh shit. <laughs> In 2006. Yeah. I mean, dude, TNA was kind of ahead of things. I mean, honestly, TNA Hell was. Hell yeah. There were a lot of things they were doing right, but we didn't. I wonder if that match was. That match had to have been good, right? I don't remember it. It wasn't anything to write home about. I mean, oh, a lot of those. Sucks. Yeah, a lot of those matches weren't anything crazy. They yeah. did a couple of different matches with, with a new. Liger came over, I think, and faced Joe, if I remember correctly. Yeah, Liger, yeah, yeah, yeah. That did happen. Yeah. I mean, that wasn't a bad match. It's not. They weren't bad. It's just, yeah. Especially I definitely remember the Liger Joe on. one. So I guess. Well, I think it's mostly good. because Liger was wearing the black attire, and like that was a big deal. That was so. pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Yeah, that was a really big deal at the time. So. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it created that deal that they held on to until, you know, they decided the British invasion was more important. Was, than ah, <laughs> no, not the Brubs. Not the Brubs. The Brubs have ruined it again. God fucking damn it. Damn, damn that really here. killed a whole deal. The, uh, New Japan hated fucking... This, maybe that's why Magnus is so upset about Japan. <laughs> 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 the whole company of New Japan said, God damn, no way. <laughs> What if we are done? We are ending this relationship now. You're gonna put our fucking titles on these dudes? Get the fuck out of here! I mean, how stupid do you have to be? First off, like <laughs> uh, that's got to be all right. So there are some definite, like, just absolute, just dipshit moments in TNA history where you just oh, have to wonder. Sure. You just sure. have to wonder what the fuck was going through your brain, like the that moment, of course, where they ruined that. Um, 
the we learned recently that TNA wanted Okada to bleed even though he didn't want to bleed and like oh yeah <laughs> that's, yeah that's yeah. a weird moment uh, in time and then they buried him for it pretty much so that was True. something else uh, New Japan did not like that they buried the shit out of him apparently from I always just assumed they were cool with it because on the excursion you just kind of take your take your hits and move on sure but apparently they were not very happy it worked out for him because he just took the Pope shit and at the end of the day it just worked out for him <laughs> yeah that's true yeah <laughs> i mean it's what it is um but yeah i mean of course the russo stuff where you know spike was like hey d- just don't you know you guys are cool we'll keep you on the network or whatever we like tna um just don't hire this guy back and then dixie not only hired him back then cc secretly and said, you dumb yeah. spike is a bunch of dumb dumb idiot fucks oh my god those marks <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah that's pretty uh <sighs> they got a long list we should go maybe there's a is there like a a list of like all the dumb shit TNA has done. I know there's a CZW one. We should do like an episode where we go over these lists of like follies there, of all these companies. Yeah, I, mean, I think there is one, but I, I think I remember reading through it one time. I mean, a lot of it was like petty. They didn't yeah, push, that's fair. push yeah, this guy right. here. I mean, yeah. I, want to, I want a list of like the actual dumb garbage, like bad you know, business decisions. Blowing the New like. Japan yeah. deal and yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like actual stupid shit. Yeah. Uh, so AJ comes out to every day in my life. This uh, <laughs> song goes real fucking stupid. I like this song a lot. Actually. I love this song, dude. Yeah, <laughs> the lyrics are just complete dog shit, but it's what makes it so. Yeah, good. I don't even fuck. I like I, this is my favorite AJ theme. I think. Yeah, it's definitely too, up brother. there for me. We should do an episode on him because he has a lot of bangers. Oh uh, well, you know, people can suggest it for the next uh, theme thread on the Patreon. Oh yeah, I like the inside show through the outside. What the fuck? I'm trying to do my best to pass the test. <laughs> and show respect That's to the other guy. Show respect to the other guy. <laughs> God, those lyrics are terrible, but fuck. I yeah, love that, that song. Yeah, that's stupid, actually. Make this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. It's incredible. Ahead, this guy. <laughs> how, I mean, how iconic is that entrance? I, I, it's, I know. It's seriously one of the best ever. It, it, it's it truly fucking is. tremendous. AJ yeah, was so the coolest dude in the world in the mid-2000s. Uh, yeah. He just... People would make him every year on every game. I, mean, it's I was just, just thinking that, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Every CAW was well, there's just AJ a, I mean, Styles. Talking about stupid TNA things, the fact that they didn't just pay him and let him go is insane. He didn't even want to raise. I mean, they no. Like, he just, he didn't even what the fuck. He and wanted he's not the even same Jared amount of money or Dad or The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> fuck man, I guess they stuck to their guns. That's true. <laughs> I mean, yeah, in case yeah, you don't get money, rock. AJ Styles ain't getting no damn money. So I don't know what to tell you, AJ. You're was like, hit the fucking bricks. Like ten years after, <laughs> they hey, they stayed on the path. I mean, you stay damn, on the that's path. It's all right. You know what they say? Every day in my life. So, <laughs> you know what Try they say? You are, best. you are, I am, I am. Pass the test. AJ, <laughs> respect to the other guy. <laughs> that song is so stupid. It's Got so it. good, though. It it's really so is good. so good. It's so good. I just listen to it. Just hanging out, listen to it. It rules. <laughs> um, Christopher Daniels, of course, still the fallen angel. This was a very iconic look for the mid. These guys were just mm-hmm. really important to wrestling yeah, in the mid 2000s. Um, I don't know if Daniels has ever said it, but I'm pretty sure the fallen angel gimmick was literally just a closet reference to the higher power thing that he just ran with. It never really turned I into imagine an actual, so, right? Yeah, yeah, it never turned into like a real gimmick gimmick. They actually gimmicked the Fallen Angel more in the video game than he ever did in real life. But sure, I think it was yeah, just yeah. a tongue in cheek to him supposed to be the higher mm. power and then he fell from grace and became the Fallen Angel and that, you know, yeah. they ran to be a team. I, I did like it though. Cool. I kind of like I like that more than SCU Daniels. Yeah. I can't imagine anyone is there anyone out there that likes SCU Daniels more than Fallen Angel? I can't imagine. Yeah. The uh cuz he I used to love he'd come out with the uh Thing over his head and he stand on the ropes and he push his fingers forward. I'm like, oh my yeah, god, he's the, the coolest taunt. dude in the world. Oh, yeah. The taunt's classic. So Hell yeah. Yeah, that shit rules. And the Angel's Wings at the time was like really fucking dope too. I love that move. Someone should yeah, just steal that. He doesn't need to do it anymore. That's yeah, all right. Mandy Rose does it. <laughs> does she? Oh yeah, she does. Doesn't <laughs> yeah, she, she does. Right. Yeah, I think she calls it something with the wings too. Clip? No, that's somebody <laughs> else. Somebody else calls it wing clipper or something. Oh, the- that was uh, fuck. It's not. It's not the wing clipper is not the angel's wings, but it was a, no it was, wing clipper is like the sit out gimmick though, like uh, the yeah. arm captured, like the double underhook sit out. It's on. It's, it's who? It's is straight it down does? though, right? Angel yeah. Garza does it. I oh, think so. It does. Might be wrong, oh. but I think that's what it is. Damn, he couldn't just call it the angel's wings. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess not. Fuck off. 
Um, so they start this match off here with not Generation Next and Daniel Saban and Styles. They played a weird transition noise in the beginning, like something was supposed to be on the screen, but nothing ever showed yeah. up. Yeah. You heard that too, that right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was weird. Um, so the X Division at this point has got this huge fucking problem where everyone in the X Division is future big time players, but no one ever becomes a future big time player and Pretty no much. one is ever presented as a star. They're always just future big time players. <laughs> uh which yeah. is a huge the next big thing it's a big curse honestly i would hate to be called a future big time player like in oh a division God, dude like a division yeah. like this fuck that i'm a player now <laughs> like i'm yeah, making exactly. i'm here now stop saying that i'm gonna be good in five years matt cardona <laughs> <laughs> they said that about everybody even like going forward to like uh bischoff and and hogan era like brian kendrick's been champion for six months <laughs> The big future star. He's like thirty. He's been wrestling for ten years yeah. at that point. <laughs> yeah, like he's he ain't gonna be anything else. You know, it is what no. it is. Um, Alex Shelley just fucking Chris Bosch's Saban just fucking just, just grabs him by the cock. Yeah, just grabs his cock straight up and said, "Damn, that's a hell of a move right there." That was kind of cool though. We, I mean, honestly, everyone here is really, really good at moves. But everyone here didn't do anything fucking crazy. They just did everything they did was super impactful. Yeah. I mean, even I if it's just grabbing was Saban's fun, cock. Yeah. I dug, yeah. I mean, that was pretty sweet. <laughs> it was impact, you know, like, fuck, that would suck. Everything yeah, here yeah. was done with a reason. And that's why the X Division, the X Division as years went on became just like, you know, moves. But early on, it's even still at this point, these guys were fighting with a meaning. And it was, yeah. Yeah, it was fun. It made, it made the matches a lot more interesting. Um, you know, bumping on this ring might suck, but god damn, if it doesn't if everything doesn't look twice as fast as WWE at this point, 2006. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the yeah, smaller ring sure. helps too, like this, you know, and yeah. Yeah, the smaller ring and the way that like the ring doesn't your foot is flat on the ring. It doesn't sink at all. Right. There's no sinkage here. Like it is I don't even know I don't even know what the padding is. I don't even know if there is padding. Mm, you think there's some shrinkage? Hmm. Hmm. Shrinkage. I don't know what the deal is, but I hope so, because fuck, it helped out. Shrinkage? <laughs> shrinkage. <laughs> Think shrinkage helps with Alex Shelley grabbing Chris Saban's dick? Yeah, I mean, sure. He got his whole hand around it. I shard. He did. He had a, he had a handful. I <laughs> uh, They did a couple of cool maneuvers here in this match. Uh, Alex Shelley did a catapult into Roger Strong's sick kick that he just that ruled the oh, shit yeah, that was so out of cool, AJ. Yeah. That ruled. Uh, Daniels did a sweet ass reverse DDT Uranagi combo that he did on Strong and oh, Aries. Oh, that looks. I thought it was kind of like usually I'm used to them just doing like the Scorpion Death Drop version, but he like goes flat with it. I was like, whoa, that was kind of cool. Oh, dude, it was actually pretty crazy that Strong was able to sit there while he was doing the Uranagi. Yeah. It's tough as fuck to sit in that position like that. And he was just like, yeah, I'm cool. You can do whatever you want. I guess that so. was good. Um, like I said, everyone here is just really good at this point. Every, I mean, literally everyone in this ring could have been world champion and it would have been okay. <laughs> so, mm, like, yeah. Yeah. The, the bunch of future stars, if I mushed. Uh, Alex Shelley ends up pinning Chris Saban with slice bread number two. And, uh, well, that'll show Not you, Larry. did he hit him with slice bread number two, but it was, like, it wasn't in the corner. It was off, like, the middle of the ropes. Yeah. Yeah, I guess the ropes were super stiff. Yeah. Like that... Chris Saban's cock. Ah, no <laughs> shrinkage here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he, I mean, the story here was, uh, Larry, you suck. So, yeah, fuck you. Uh, I, I think, I think they do something at the pay per view. I'm not too sure. Tony, do you have the final resolution card by any chance? Uh, yeah, I actually do. I have it. Uh, where is that? They do Alex Shelley, Austin Aries, Roderick Strong versus Saban, Bentley, and Sanjay Dutt. Swag D. Oh, Six they just, so guy. they just did a match. Okay. I yes. Guess, okay. Yeah. Th well, there's probably more going on with Zabisco, and they just probably. Talk shit and stuff like oh, that. Oh, okay. Know. So Apollo no shows. So Conan has to team with Homicide, huh? Yeah, I guess so. I see. Okay. Was he in ring shape at this point? He, mm. I, I mean, I can't. I, I imagine Homicide probably did most shit there, but he probably could go a little bit in 2006. That was only like you know a few yeah, years a few after years. WCW, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so after we get that, we get Christian Cage. He, of course, he's talking about Sting coming to TNA. He said. Yeah, Sting's coming. Uh, another guy for me to beat. <laughs> <laughs> What's his finish so I can kick out of it? <laughs> Christian was uh, full dick out at this point, man. Like, this dude was full. Like, this is his push right here. This is Christian Cage at his peak in TNA. Yeah, uh, So, yeah, he was ready to beat the shit out of Sting. I don't care if you're coming to TNA. You do whatever you want. We're teaming here, but we won't team in a little bit. Uh, <laughs> and then we get to the main event, which is Jeff Jarrett. Oh, yeah. 
and he's going to show his appreciation. Now, keep in mind, everyone throughout the night was talking about how, how great Sting was coming into the company. Oh, my God, I love Sting. I loved when he was in the WCW. Jeff Jarrett, on the other hand, does not fucking like Sting, even a little bit. Fuck Sting. Oh, no. He this is how, this is how main Sting. eventer should present himself. Earlier in the show, Jarrett said that he was, uh, you know, he didn't, why, was, why wasn't Planet Jarrett getting a, a big TNA tribute? Uh, and he says, you know what, we're going to have our own uh, tribute for Sting tonight, and this is what it is. Jarrett comes to the ring, says, I've been watching a bunch of ha- half-wit amateurs try to do a tribute to Sting. He said, you fans may call them little stingers, which, I, who fucking calls them that? <laughs> uh, us you fans. fans may call them little stingers. Us in the business? Call him Stinger Marks. <laughs> that really fucking pissed off Mike today. He goes, Whoa, I can't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, pussy. <laughs> you talking about the business? Yeah, fucking I was sitting I, there. I was, I'm a little stinger, you know. <laughs> <laughs> a little stinger, I don't know. <laughs> you know little uh, stingers says, out there. I'm going to give you Sting. So Jarrett says he's going to bring out the early years of Sting. And here comes Eric Young, dressed as Surfer Sting. Pretty good too, <laughs> dude. He actually looked like Surfer Sting. This is almost like Mr. Anderson level of Surfer Sting here. Yeah, he's. Blonde, I was thinking that too. Yeah, look exactly. Short like blonde Anderson. hair, dude. Mr. Anderson look exactly like. Like I feel like they, they may have all. I don't know if they put the figure out or if they were going to, but they definitely were going to put a figure out of Mr. Anderson as Sting. And I'm pretty sure it was just a Sting figure. <laughs> I was convinced of it. <laughs> they, yeah, um, they looked a lot alike. And uh, Eric Young comes out doing the woo and f- doing the fucking flexing. He just, it was. Pretty good, all on point. Uh, Mike yeah. Tanay angrily on commentary says, "That's Eric Young of Team Canada." <laughs> <laughs> Mike says, "You damn, damn right it is." How does he know, I, <laughs> dude? The dynamic between DW and Mike Tanay was pretty damn good. They just Honestly, seemed like they were best friends on commentary, just hanging yeah, out, watching the fucking so show. So good, yeah. I think uh, it's a shame that I don't. I mean, when you talk about the greatest commentary teams of all time, I don't think they get mentioned enough. Like no, they, they definitely, definitely should. Are. They, they definitely should. should. Oh, they abs- they're absolutely right up there. Like, uh, you know, I, I, you could argue, you know, like Heyman or sorry, uh, Lawler and Jr. is like, you know, it's hard to say that that's sure. not like kind of the best combo. Even like uh, Heyman and Jr. is is one of my favorites. But like, fucking Mike Tanay and Don West were so good. They love the product. They were like, uh, even after they were gone, like, there's, uh, you can't replace them. They were the voices of TNA for me. No, you yeah, can tell well, Don West just loved the X Division guys too. Like, hell he yeah. dude, he was so crazy about them. Yeah, and Mike Tanay was probably fired up about not getting jabroni every time he called a move <laughs> by fucking Bobby Heenan and Larry Zabisco. Oh yeah, true. That's true. Oh, get professor, get professor. Yeah. Oh yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Mike Tanay uh, called all the moves, and Don West yelled, and it's like, that's there you go. I mean, what else awesome. could you ask for? Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Undertaker even loved it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I shot it. Scooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> Go watch Hidden Gems on the Patreon. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Yeah, true. Jarrett then uh, says he's going to bring out, uh, you know, 10 years later after Surfer Sting in 1996, your beloved Stinger took a turn for the worse. And let me show you what he was. And here comes, uh, again, another great rendition of Sting, Chris Harris. Comes out dressed as Sting and all the face paint, uh, face paint and the big trench coat and the trademark bat. He looked a lot fucking like Sting. This is good, dude. They should be yeah. released like a three pack figures of this with the the next <laughs> the stings. modern day Sting. Oh, in there, I would dude. love the last version for sure to be a figure. <laughs> he came out with an actual crow. Yeah. yeah. He out, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, I mean, yeah. Uh, a chicken came out with 1996 Sting, and Jeff Jarrett says it's a crow. That's a crow, uh, I saw it. Somehow later on in this, Mike Tanay knows that it's James Storm. Fucking spoilers, bitch. He's wearing he, cowboy why? boots. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It could have been anybody. Could have been yeah, anybody. Could have been I don't know. I was James drinking Storm. beers with cowboy boots on. Coming <laughs> he was out with definitely Chris drunk. Harris. Who is this? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this man? Oh my God, Eric, it's Goku. Eric Young wouldn't stop flexing, <laughs> which like, popped me pretty big. Uh... Uh, so uh, we get to doesn't, the next one, huh? Oh, doesn't Jarrett say the crow aged, or somebody says the crow aged? I don't know. I just popped for that <laughs> yeah, for some reason. Yeah, they did say, yeah, the crow. Well, dude, everyone different. in the ring wouldn't stop moving around. Just, just, would you guys fucking calm down for five <laughs> seconds? We have to get to this segment. We only have an hour. Jarrett says, "You guys don't know what Sting looks like in 2006, do you?" <laughs> he says he's a lot more tan. He's looking a lot different these oh, days. Oh, that was such a good line. <laughs> a lot more uh, tan, huh? Call back to his WCW run where he wasn't tan enough, brother, and that's why he dropped the title. 
Uh, so here, uh, uh, there, uh, as James said, the chicken is just running around the ring. <laughs> at one point, Chris Harris has to point the bat at him to get him in the corner to get him to stop fucking moving. Yeah, who is uh, this? Monty Brown then comes out in sting face paint with <laughs> just in a golf outfit look, and pushing a baby carriage. And in the carriage is a little baby wearing a gigantic sting <laughs> mask. <laughs> That was incredible. This is so good. Yeah. Jeff Jarrett yeah. introduces him. He says, "This is current day Sting." He listens to Carrie Underwood or Martina or whatever other bumblegum <laughs> pop there is. <laughs> uh, everybody helps uh, the baby get into the ring in the carriage. Uh, Monty says, "All of this is for me." <laughs> He's fired up. I love Monty Brown uh, in general, but Monty yeah. Brown in Sting face paint is is, this is that's the whole reason this we watch this show. Is yeah, the whole we, we watched watch the show this? only because of the tribute gimmick, honestly, and yeah. Monty Brown in the face paint. Uh, Monty Brown starts talking. He looks down at the baby and he goes, <laughs> He hits the wild thornberry spot on the baby. <laughs> and he turns the, the carriage around. He looks at Jared and he says, Ah, you know, this is how we stroll. I get him. Fucking get how we stroll. Uh, how we stroll. Yeah, Christian, Christian Gay's music hits immediately. He says, this is over. Don't ever fucking say that again. <laughs> not only that, Tanae gets so fired up. He says, oh, you want to see how we roll? Not stroll. <laughs> oh, oh, so angry. Yes. <laughs> well, hey, Tanae uh, about to jump fucking Plant Jarrett. Fucking hate these dudes. Yeah. <laughs> Christian comes out on the stage and says, you're embarrassing yourselves and you look like a bunch of jack offs <laughs> He said, that yeah, was Christian, bad news. Christian, uh, the guy who's wearing shit brown t-shirt. Looks that's what I was going to say. Look like jack <laughs> yeah, you look like shit, Dude, you're right. <laughs> Christian Cage, you could... What the fuck? Every week with a, br- a new brown shirt. What was up with that? <laughs> right? His debut, like that's right. So we watched much. his debut and it was a brown sucked. shirt too, yeah, wasn't it? What? Only yeah. brown shirts, dude. His they whole team iconic everybody wore these brown fucking shirts. They were so ugly. His shitty boots, his jeans. He, 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 he doing, fucking bro? short sleeve shirt over a long sleeve shirt and a short sleeve shirt. He wore the brown shirts and the t-shirts <laughs> he, like, with his necklaces. What the fuck is the deal? just a rib. He's like, he's like, watch this. I'll get this over. This brown ugly shirt. I'm going to it. Maybe. This ugly ass brown shirt. <laughs> he said that was the bad news. And Monty Brown says, this is entertainment. <laughs> and Christian says, the good news is, I just saved a bunch of money on my car insurance. <laughs> there was the nothing. Fuck? That was the whole thing. That was his crickets, To crickets. That was his whole punchline was this Geico fucking line. What the hell? In man? his brown shirt with a brown shirt. Yeah, Shitty brown, brown shirt. shirt. His boot cut jeans. And Christian says... You know what? Let me get the tables. And then the Dudleys come out with no tables. What's going on over here, man? There's no (laughs) tables. They're Dudley boys. There's no tables here. The Dudleys and Christian all rush the ring. No tables involved this whole segment. I love. Did I love that? uh, (laughs) I love that catchphrases just trigger entrances in wrestling. I actually, that's my favorite, one of my favorite wrestling tropes. I do love that too. If you say anything like, oh man, I can't wait to gore. And then yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dude, there's, a, there's, I feel like there's one that I remember the most. It was like a Shane uh, promo. He's like, this was just before corporate ministry, and he's trying to find an opponent for. Uh, uh, he's trying to find a partner for Triple H to to fight Austin and Rock later in the night. And Shane says, "Are there any takers?" <laughs> and the lights go out. And Undertaker gets on the Tron. <laughs> and the lights go out and. You look fly today. I saw Timberlake. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. That's true. Same thing. Flying. Give or take. That's true. Yeah, different different, different error. Boom, boom. Yeah, you know how it is. Uh, so Dudley's and Christian rush the ring. They clean house. The chicken is running around. The crow, sorry. Running around in the ring as everyone's getting beat up. Uh, Tanae calls out that it's James Storm. Pretty disrespectful. I don't know how you knew that. Um <laughs> Yeah, the chicken, the chicken was running around. Yeah, the crow was running around going, sorry about your damn luck. Sorry about your damn luck. Sorry about your damn luck. <laughs> Cow- cowboy boots and drinking beer. Who is this guy? Oh, I got the death sentence. <laughs> <laughs> he actually said, I'm James Storm. <laughs> I'm James Storm. I'm James Storm. I don't know who this guy I don't know who this chicken is, but I'm James Storm. <laughs> oh, I'm James Storm. <laughs> and the chicken comes from the back. <laughs> uh, they shit can uh, James Storm out of the ring, and then Abyss comes out, attacks them all from behind, and then Rhino comes out and attacks Abyss. Gore by Rhino. Baby carriage in the ring the whole time this is going on. I was really hoping they would attack Sting Baby, but they did not. 
Gore the baby, uh, yeah. <laughs> Gore the baby, yeah. <laughs> just all hit the three D to the baby. <laughs> Dude, fuck, that would actually be crazy. That would actually be nuts. Get the death sentence. Uh, for me. Planet Jarrett oh, uh, and all their sting face paint on the ramp as the show goes off the air. Uh, right. with- that's like the greatest. That's Where'd the that greatest like shot right there. The camera. The injury. overhead shot. Was that my was the one. shot they wanted with like the people on the ramp, all yeah. of them dressed. The up. overhead that's shot like the th- of all the stings. <laughs> that's the thumbnail Stings, on the stang. on the video. That's why we clicked on that it's TNA stung. video because they use that as a thumbnail. They click yeah. us into one. Yeah. That's a good way to get us in, honestly. Yeah, we got to see the debut of LAX before they changed it again. And Joe's possible first promo. <laughs> oh, dude, when Abyss ran in the ring, the the boot that he hit was fucking stiff as hell. He had some oh, stiff awesome. ass shots here. Yeah, and yeah. Rhino really gave it to him with the gore too. They had some he good stuff. He probably knew it was here. coming. Yeah, I think Dude, so. Dude, I'm still pissed to this day that they put Monty Brown with Jarrett so that Jarrett didn't have to drop the title to him ever, man. That, that sucks. sucks so bad because I think you're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's like, hey, you could be in my group. How about that? But I really want yeah. that title. Yeah, but you could be in my group. Are you The Rock or are you dead? <laughs> uh, you, you know what? We'll I think have a third section group. for Monty. Are you Monty? You're Monty. You're in. I think you're in my group. I don't think you can actually win that title. That would, Man, I, I swear he would have won the title if he wasn't in Planet Jarrett. Probably would have happened. Yeah. I think so he too. Told, yeah, he wanted to won a title eventually. It just sucks that his career just ended. 